ora. Uh, my name is Sarah Lundin, and I am the creative director of Ngā Rangatahi Toa. Ngā Rangatahi Toa uh, Creative Arts Initiative began four years ago in 2009 in Ōtara at Desire Dance Academy. What it looked like then is very different to what it looks like now and what you're experiencing in the gallery, but the kaupapa is exactly the same. It's always, always been about the kids and it's always, always been about the love. Um, yeah, I guess that we are all here, all the adults who are involved are here solely and only to talk to the kids through whatever they're experiencing now to be able to explore their own potential and to be the kids that we know that they are. They might not yet know it, but we know who they are and we see that. And in a week like this that we've just had, that absolutely comes to the fore. Uh, our first exhibition, our first group exhibition was at Fresh Gallery Ōtara. It was a one night only extravaganza uh, organised by Emma Tavola. Uh, and then we progressed from 2010 to uh, the Mangari Art Centre. Naomi Singer assisted us with the exhibition. And that was a massive exhibition that ran for about a month. Uh, last year we moved things central and that was a purposeful step to bring kids from South Auckland into the environment and into the suburbs that many of their parents and grandparents had actually grown up in. It was an incredible experience not only being at art station but also bringing alternative education students through the gallery and many of them mentioned how their parents and grandparents had grown up in and around Potsdam and Greyland. It was a purposeful step because of the advent of the super city. Uh, to me that was an exciting time seems to have just become a word now, but it was a time for me to, I guess, allow the kids that I work with to overcome those geographical boundaries that exist hard out in Auckland. When we work together, we have kids this year from Central Auckland, kids from South Auckland, kids from Ross Auckland, kids from Mangere, and it doesn't matter when the kids are together here, and I think that's a really important part of our project as well. So it was a purposeful step to bring it into Art Station and it's been an exceptional relationship. It started last year, it's continued this year and will continue for many, many years into the future. We've just finished the Sole project, which is part of the full Naurangatahi Toa Creative Arts Initiative program. I guess it's our flagship. It's an intensive week of one-to-one -one mentoring. All the kids that are involved are from alternative education. They have for one reason or another found themselves outside of mainstream education. Uh, without doubt they're all exceptional kids. They all have a certain something and to be honest it's not always an artistic something but it is definitely a creative something. And what we do and what the mentors do all week is really try to bring that creative spark out of the kid no matter what it looks like. And the works that you see in the gallery today are a manifestation of the creativity that has happened this week. It's been an exceptional project to be involved in this year as it has every year. I guess my role is just, uh, I'm always all about the love, so all I really try to do is to project a lot of love into the situation. And it's my experience, and I've been in education for about 10 years, that, that you can't lose if you do that. If you project love and positivity, then without doubt that's what you get back from a kid. And I just try to project that all day, every day. <laughs> And it pretty much works. Um, we haven't had one incident at all. In four years that I've worked with the kids over our projects, not one, not one incident. It's just always been amazing. This year has been, yeah, an amazing mix of art mediums as well. And yeah, I'm always humbled by the mahi that the mentors do and it always is incredible for me to watch them work and work through their work and through the vibe that is created between everybody to see the change in the kids from that very first hui that we have when everyone meets everyone for the first time to the end result and I guess to our opening as well of the exhibition. What I said to the kids this morning and this being our last day was this might be our last day of the Sully project but this is 100% the beginning. We focus a lot on transitioning of kids. We have an exceptional relationship with Monaco School of Visual Arts. Grant Thompson, the head of that school, is incredibly supportive of our program and of our kids. And the foundation program they run at MSBA is a pathway, a transition pathway into tertiary education for our students. 
We run programs at the end of the year, a next steps program where the kids can come together again to create their art portfolios to apply for art school. We've had kids transition into MSBA into art school, into Unitech, into Pico Performing Arts School, to go to animation school, back to mainstream education, do an internship at Shortland Street, an internship at George FM. You name it, our kids have done it, and it's just simply about them experiencing success, starting something, finishing it, and really being surrounded by love and positivity, not just for a week, but maintaining that through the year as well, which we do through our other projects of Ngāra and the Ngāra Ngātahi Toa programme. For the future, Ngāra Ngātahi Toa Charitable Trust has just been established. Um, that is actually based in Tautahi, which is my hometown, which is where I'm now living. Our plan and our strategy is to be nationwide with these projects by 2013. Uh, for the most part, Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, but I would love to take these projects wherever the need is and to be honest, the need is everywhere. Yeah. None of the work that we do would be possible without both our funders and our sponsors. We have been relentlessly supported by Lion Foundation right since uh, year dot. ASB Community Trust is also a great sponsor, as is Manchester Trust and the Auckland City Council through Creative Communities. We're funded by Creative New Zealand. Uh, we have private sponsors as well. Les Taylor QC from Wellington is an incredible sponsor and patron of ours. This year we have been lucky enough to secure a sponsorship for our exhibition opening called Who Road Ice Cream, the greatest ice cream in the universe. And for myself personally, I am internally indebted to Scenic Hotel, who have provided accommodation sponsorship for me while I've been in town to run this project. It is excellent, I've had to couch surf whilst doing my mahi, it has been great. Uh, this year we've also got up in action the volunteers roster. Uh, what that's really been focused on this year is on kai. It's a massive part of the mahi we do and every day that we spend together is to eat together. But it's really difficult to find funding for that. So I put the shout or the call out to my friends to bring morning tea and lunch for us every day. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to Kiriana, Katie, Robin, Lou, Grant, Paulie, George, Gail, Emma, Deirdre and Marcia. We would be super hungry without you and I just really appreciate the love and the kids really, really appreciate it as well. And it means a huge amount to us, so thank you very, very much. We've also had Linda T, the amazing Linda T, documenting uh, our mahi and the relationships that have grown this week and I really appreciate her stepping up to the plate and really coming and being a part of things as well. Same to Amber Walls who has been documenting and helping out and just observing really, she's from Britain so looking at what things look like in an Aotearoa context and hope, I really hope that she's learned a lot and got a lot from the whole experience. We had a hui kōrero with with Hare Williams, which was especially special for me. I've been a fan of his poetry for many, many years. The way that he spoke to our kids, to our rangatahi, and the engagement that they had meant that we were in, we were in the presence of a true orator. None of his stories were linear, they were experiential, and I think our kids learnt a lot and took a lot from what Hare had to say. So I just want to say it was humbling and amazing to be in the same space as you had in, so kia ora. Heart out, shout out to all the mentors, and not just the ones we've worked with this year, but all the mentors that have been involved with Ngā Rangatahi Toa. Nathan Suniola, who has been with us from the absolute very beginning, was not able to be here this year, and he's been gutted about that, but yeah, he's been in our hearts this week as well. Um, pretty much a media, Puya Taylor, who is a student at Monaco School of Visual Arts, who has been unbelievable this week, has assisted in every way, shape or form, as well as in documenting this process. It's been wonderful to have her on board. Uh, Tony Ormsby is an incredible youth worker from South Auckland, who I've worked with for the last four years out in South Auckland, and he's been exceptional, picking the kids up, running around, doing jobs for me, that's been amazing. 
and the art station staff have been phenomenal as per usual. Uh, they just make us feel like this is our home and it really does feel like our home. And it's incredible. Um, yeah, and from a personal perspective, I'd like to give big shouts out to my mum down in Ōtautahi who is supporting me um, down there and allowing me to um, explore this mahi with the trust and yeah, really dedicate myself to it. So I really appreciate that as well. Well, my role here, I'm the manager of Art Station, so I've helped the staff to, to develop the project and just sort of oversee it. So, but um, really I'm lucky because I have another staff member who's done all the sort of bits and pieces of the actual stuff. So my role this week is really just to um, look at what's going on and enjoy it, which is good. It worked out that Art Station was a really good venue because we've got a kind of long history of doing art and art projects and an art detached site and we're in a heritage building, so it's an interesting environment. It's totally um, dedicated to art and creativity, so because of that, um, I think that's how it developed. Didn't quite answer the question. We became connected because um, youth, young people, are one of the areas that we are interested in working with. So we like we have a, an objective to work with youth, Māori. Um, we can do diversity projects alongside all the other classes we run here. So it was a very good fit for us, and um, it was, it's really great working with the trust because it's so well organised, so well. gallery coordinator here at ArtStation and my role has been to be like the key support person from ArtStation for the whole project and it's just been an absolute pleasure. Lucky for ArtStation, um, Sarah Longbottom brought her project to us um, last year. She must have had a good time here so she brought it back so yeah we're really pleased to host and home the solo project for the second year. Um, Naranga Takitoa does such inspirational work. Um, it's really about enabling young people through the arts and really giving opportunities that aren't necessarily out there every day and that's just really incredible work. It's been so fun and just each day such incredible work has been done and so much connection between everyone. It really has become this, this family environment and yeah and at the end of it we get this incredible exhibition so yeah I'm, I'm amazed what can happen in just five days. It's just an amazing model to see like philosophically and to actually see in practice this idea of one-to-one -one mentoring um, and how that really does create a change or an opportunity to um, for young people it just really makes me believe that art can actually change the world. First and foremost, kia ora everybody. Um, my role has been basically just helping out the young ones, getting them to and from um, home to the art projects here in Pontypi. Um, to be honest, it's been an awesome experience. Um, just watching the kids at work, you know, with their mentors. Um, yeah, for myself, it's been a learning curve, watching all this beautiful artwork um, come up on these walls. And um, yeah, it's just been mind-blowing. An awesome experience, just rubbing shoulders with some of the best of the best in the art scene. So, yeah, you know, credit to everybody, you're part of it, awesome. Uh, last comments is basically just kia ora to everybody who's a part of this project, um, everybody who's helped out, you know, from the um, people who helped out with funding right down to the helpers, um, like myself. Yeah, um, yeah no, like I said, it's been an awesome experience, and um, I'm definitely going to get involved, um, you know, every time this comes around. I'm going to put my hand up and definitely be a part of it. So, big ups to everybody. Awesome stuff. I was first involved in the solo project four years ago. I am Otara working with Sarah. It's such an honour to be involved. I am a business ambassador for Kohu Road Ice Cream. Uh, Kohu Road is a small independent boutique ice cream, not gourmet ice cream. Uh, company based out in West Auckland and uh, yeah we make handmade top quality ice cream. 
I hope that the youth involved in this project um, gain inspiration from the artists and just the project in general. I mean, it's such a wonderful thing to be a part of, and uh, yeah, I wish I had, had the opportunities like this when I was younger. Um, yeah, and just take from it different things, any, just pull inspiration from whenever you can, you know, and hold on to that and use it and apply it into your own life. Um, maybe not just in arts, but you know, listen to people's stories, and um, there's always bits of magic there. I'm the general manager of the Scenic Hotel Auckland, uh, which is where we are now, and it's part of the Scenic Group, which is a wholly owned New Zealand chain of hotels that is based in Christchurch. <laughs> We're going to turn up for your fantastic opening and see what these artists have uh, done, and uh, I think that's about the extent of our involvement. I was reminded of a documentary that I'd watched called Trouble Is My Business. And Trouble Is My Business was probably the most fantastic documentary that I've ever seen in my yeah. life. And it's about children, school kids in South Auckland. And it was about a headmaster. But really, the place that that documentary took you to was at the very edge of where a young person is going to fall one way or fall the other way, uh, you know, a bad way, or is going to, and it's about a deputy headmaster who is very, very good, who worked really at the crux of that, you know, right at the very edge. And uh, I just found it, you know, really compelling. And it always made me think, you know, being a hotel manager, and we have a lot of young people, and it always made me think about, you know, it took me to that place where that edge is and how easy it would be just for them to fall off the wrong side. So you could really thank that documentary maker uh, for that and that. And I read the proposal and I thought, That's, that looks to me exactly where that is and we could help in a small way. And that's why we wanted to.